there beautiful people and welcome to Clutch Tarot. My name is Jane and I'm here with a pick a card reading for you where we're going to be having a look at what does the person on your mind most want you to know at this time. What would they like you to know today in regards to your connection with them? So we've got three options here for you today. This is just a general reading. If you were interested in a personal reading, you'll find the details to book in the description box with the timestamps for this reading. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook should you wish to follow me over there. I hope everyone is doing really well. If you do enjoy the reading, please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, it's really appreciated and of course it helps this reading to get out to other people who might need to hear this today as well. So we have option one here for you with a reason to smile. Option two is positive change. Option three is take my hand. If you need more time please pause the video here otherwise I'll see you at your timestamp and we'll take a look. What does this person most want you to know at this time? Hi those of you who chose option one, this a reason to smile, this is going to be your reading. Let us have a look, how is your person feeling, what do they want you to know at this time? So we've got a song for you and it's Stop Right Now and that's the Spice Girls song. Stop Right Now and Thank You Very Much, I Need Somebody With A Human Touch. And just because it hasn't happened yet, it doesn't mean it won't. So this person wants you to keep faith is certainly the first message I'm getting here. For some of you, okay, this person is requiring a very tactile communication with you, um, physical contact with you. And I do feel for some of you, you've established some healthy boundaries with this person. You said, no, that's enough. I need something that's going to make me smile. Perhaps right now, okay, the situation isn't making either of you smile. It's something I'm getting here. We've got Earth. We've also got the magician. Oops, we've got challenges. Got some messages, which we'll have a look at in just a minute. We've got the six of swords, the two of swords, we've got the four of wands, and we've also got the temperance energy. Very interesting. What does this person want you to know right now? This person wants you to know, obviously, okay, that yes, things haven't gone the way they would have liked them to, okay, and they're sorry in some kind of way, okay, if they've not been very human-like is something I'm getting here. I feel this could be somebody who has been very guarded, very closed off, okay, and that is something that they are realising. I also feel, okay, this is somebody who is facing a lot of challenges in their life right now, and they are really trying to overcome them. It could have been a very challenging connection between the two of you. There could have been a lot of triggers or something else I'm getting here. And this person is wanting to overcome these challenges with you. I feel this person, okay, is somebody who perhaps has suddenly gained faith in this connection. And even if it's taken a long time to come to this point, okay, it's like a sudden realisation. It's an epiphany moment for your person is something else I'm getting. Your person is trying to make some sort of a decision. The other message I am getting with this Two of Swords, okay, and this Stop song being here, it's that this person is currently in another situation, okay, where there is no feeling, where there is no compassion, where there is no um, love is something I'm getting here, and they feel a little bit stuck there, and they could be trying to make a choice between two for some of you here. That isn't something I'm telling you here for the first time, okay, something you're aware of. But for others of you, I feel it's more this person hasn't been um, very open with their feelings, hasn't been very tactile, hasn't been very loving towards you. They are, okay, trying to come away from these challenges. They want to take the connection into a calmer space. There's certainly something I'm getting and the temperance is also giving me that vibe. They want to bring some sort of balance. It's also about the balance of the masculine and the feminine energy with the temperance here, as well as patience being indicated. I do feel, okay, this person could have tried to move away from you in this connection. It's something else I'm getting here. They could have tried to distance themselves from this connection however okay they keep getting drawn back to you is something I'm getting here your person could be an earth sign we also have um Sagittarius's energy very strongly as well as Aries and Aquarius's energy here I also feel okay this is somebody who wants to bring this connection back down to earth this is something that's perhaps been very up in the air a lot of indecision here and this person is wanting to ground this connection with you for some of you, I feel this person does want to grow with you as well. The Four of Wands, here is the 11. 11 card for some of you, you're dealing with your, your soul counterpart, your um, soulmate, twin flame, however you wish to sort of identify that. But this person is someone of great significance. 
they want to celebrate with you they want to come towards you walk through this beautiful gateway of opportunity that's presented itself with you um, there's a lot of transformation in this person's heart space as well which is really beautiful because as I say we do have this two of swords energy here they can't sit in the land of indecision forever that tide is going to come in sooner or later and I feel this is something this person has realized or is realizing at this time with the temperance and the four of wands like I said for some of you this could certainly be a higher level of soul connection it could be a spiritual connection for some of you and patience are required divine timing is certainly playing a part I feel this person has faith now isn't in such a rush is something I'm getting although this person's been sort of stuck in indecision I feel they've also been rushing through life is something I'm getting here not really sitting with themselves and feeling their emotions perhaps I feel this person's energy softening and slowing down is something else I'm getting and they wish you to know that I feel they're coming into a more balanced harmonious um, space in their life I am being drawn to the moon as well so you could have had many moon cycles with this person could have been in and out of your life for many of you here and I also feel okay it's about new opportunities is what I'm getting I feel this person is starting to open themselves up to this opportunity with you they're trying to manifest you right now okay it also speaks about inspired action with this magician being here I do feel in divine timing this person is going to take this inspired action towards you they're recognizing and realizing their own personal strength is something else I'm getting here not only to overcome the personal challenges that they're facing but the challenges that perhaps are currently in the situation with you so let's have a look with your messages now we have fear keeps me away I know I took you for granted I didn't see what was right in front of me so yeah for some of you okay this person might like I said try to move away from this connection could even be trying to make a decision between two here this person is recognizing okay that they have taken you for granted I do feel this stop energy here is more of your boundaries being put in place and this person has um has realized as a result okay of that that yeah they need to level up on some kind of way they need to face these inner conflicts open themselves up to vulnerability is something I'm getting here but right now this person's fear could certainly be keeping them a little bit stuck okay in this two of swords energy but ultimately like I said they can't sit there forever that sea is going to come in at some point and they are going to have to make this decision you certainly do give this reason this person a reason to smile though even if things are pretty dark right now they do think of you as that beautiful happy energy the times you shared together they really do value and appreciate so that's what this person wants you to know right now group number one that's been your reason i hope it's been helpful if you have enjoyed please leave me a like comment subscribe it really does mean a lot to me and of course helps my channel to grow which is wonderful hope you'll have a wonderful day and i'll catch you soon take care everyone bye Hi those of you who chose option number two with positive change here. This is going to be your reading. I hope you're all doing well guys. If you do enjoy the reading, you find it helpful, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. So positive change, let's have a look. What does your person want you to know right now? We've got the eight of pentacles to open out this reading with the five of cups. We've also got the nine of cups. And we have the seven of coins let's move these over i'm not sure why i'm going all the way over there we also have here for you i believe we can make it i was going to take your messages at the end but it doesn't matter we'll take them now i know this love is unique very beautiful we have receptive we also have taurus energy here as well as the devil's energy so capricorn could mean something to some of you as well and how could you still love me after everything okay so this is somebody okay who has a lot of regrets group number two they want to say they're sorry but I feel perhaps this is someone who may even struggle okay with um apologies and during that song um Tracy Chapman you can say everything but sorry I can't even think of the words of that now and it's one of my favorite songs I really like that song um yeah this person is someone who struggles to say sorry struggles to swallow their pride is something i'm getting here they want you to know that and i feel you probably already recognize that about this person this is someone certainly okay who is regretful of their actions somebody who is wondering you know do you still have feelings for them after whatever it is they've done it's going to be different obviously for each of you 
this is somebody okay who is very caught up with this devil's energy in their own fears in their shadow side right now this person could also be dealing with some sort of an addiction or attachment to things that are not healthy for them as well with this card being here I also feel, okay, this person is someone who is constantly thinking about you and they want you to know, okay, they, they haven't let you go. They can't let you go is what I'm hearing. They can run, but they cannot hide. You, it's almost like you haunt them in some kind of way is what I'm getting here, group number two. I feel this is also somebody, okay, who is trying very hard, okay, to, to work on their own self-confidence, but also trying to work very hard okay on avoiding something it could even be looking in the mirror okay it could even be um leaving something like i say that's not serving them behind whether it's their fears or some sort of an attachment or addiction if for some of them again it's just overworking this person is constantly working so that they don't have to sit with their emotions Nine of Cups here, this person sees you as a wish fulfillment but again it is giving me that vibe okay that this is somebody who is overindulging in something this perhaps isn't something that they would like you to know, okay, but it's something I feel is going on. And I do feel for most of you here, you kind of pick up on this already. You understand that this person is, they've got sort of an avoidant um, attachment style is something I'm getting here. Seven of Coins, this person's a bit in the middle of the road. There's a lot of um, Earth energy here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be very significant for many of you here. But the seven of coins, this person is invested in this connection, even if they don't show it, even if you can't, um, it makes no sense, okay, to think that this person is actually invested in this connection when they behave the way they do. They are emotionally invested in this connection. They certainly feel the loss of this connection, particularly if you are in a no contact situation right now. With the Taurus energy, it speaks about being reliable, patient, practical, devoted, responsible and stable. But yet in its shadow side, it can be a little bit possessive and compromising and stubborn. And I feel those attributes could certainly be playing a part here. This person is somebody who likes to be in control. And I feel they like to be in control, okay, because they're a little bit fearful of um, just letting go and allowing things to happen. This is somebody, okay, who does believe that you can make it because they understand this is a love, okay, that is very unique. But at the same time, they really struggle with being vulnerable. I don't feel this is somebody who would have expressed this to you. I don't think this is someone who has told you that they actually think of you as that one special person. I also feel, okay, with this, I believe we can make it in this devil's energy. This person could very well be working very hard right now on letting go of these attachments, these addictions, these self-limiting beliefs, perhaps, that they hold about themselves. That is what this positive change is. It's more of an internal positive change for your person, okay, so that they can recognise this love, so they can recognise um, their own inner strength is something I'm getting here. There's no doubt in this person's mind that you are a wish fulfillment for them. There's no doubt in this mind, person's mind, okay, that they've messed up and they do want to put things right with you. But there is a lot of doubt, okay, about whether you will accept this person back into your life. And we do have the receptive card here. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. I'm getting the message this person was not ready for you. And for some of you, I just feel he's, they're not quite ready for you yet. This is someone who blocked their blessings. It's something else I'm getting here. It's like you were a gift. You were this person's wish fulfillment. You turned up in their life and all of a sudden, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with this beautiful positive change? You were the positive change in this person's life. This person has been surrounded by darkness is another message I'm getting for some of you here for a very long time. And you've come in and you've brought about this positive change but this person just wasn't sure or still isn't quite sure what on earth to do with that beautiful energy that you have. So what they want you to know right now is that they are really struggling with their shadow side. They do have faith in this connection. They are very invested in this connection. They are doubtful, okay, but whether you do still want them, whether you are still receptive to their love. They want you to know that you are a positive influence in their life. That they really do almost put you on some sort of a pedestal here. They are working really hard, okay, to master these this devilish energy. 
I feel this person has showed up with a lack of integrity and not really acted as their true authentic self and they're very regretful of that is something else they want you to know as well as the fact that they think this love is very unique and very special to them so that's what I've got for you group number two that's been your reading if it has been helpful please leave me a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell you won't miss a reading from me in the future hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all soon bye Hi there, option number three, those of you who chose the Take My Hand card. This is going to be our reading. If you do find the reading helpful, please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me and, of course, helps my channel to grow as well. So let's get your reading. What does your person want you to know right now, group number three? We've got the Strength card, so Leo's energy is showing up strongly here for you. We've got the Nine of Swords. Ooh, we've got the Knight of Cups. Lovely. We have the Two of Coins or the Two of Pentacles here. We've got some messages from your person, which we shall take in just a moment. We've also got Capricorn. We've got Air, so you could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Recognition. The Divine will help you recognise signs and miracles. Okay, so what does this person want you to know right now? I do feel, okay, this is somebody who is very stressed right now. Somebody, okay, who has a lot going on in their headspace. Even if they're not an air sign, okay, um, the swords are the air signs and the air signs tend to overthink um, is something I'm getting here, okay. So your person's overthinking, they want you to know that. They're very stressed, they could be having sleepless nights in regards to this connection. I also feel this is somebody who is a little bit afraid of being vulnerable with that knight of cups and the nine of swords there. But it is somebody who wants to come towards you with a romantic offer. I also feel this person wants you to know that they're waiting on you. For those of you where that resonates, okay, this person's waiting for you to come to them is something I'm getting with this two of coins. I also feel this is someone who is very heavily in their emotions right now. I feel this is somebody who is, one minute they're, they're okay, right, they're really fine, the next minute they're drowning in their emotions, one minute they're full of inner strength, okay, and they're wanting to come towards you, and then the next minute they're right back in their headspace, overthinking things, and then this sort of back and forth um, behaviour sort of kicks in is what I'm getting here. This person feels an eternal bond towards you as well, though, with that two of coins there. It can also indicate, okay, so counterparts, when we have the two of coins, that sort of back and forth and that balance of the masculine feminine energy. With the Capricorn being here, Capricorn season, or Capricorn could be significant for some of you here. Of course, that's the season we're in right now. And I do feel, okay, with this being here, this person is trying to be very responsible. They are trying to exhibit this sense of self-control and um, perhaps even holding themselves back a little bit is what I'm getting here. This person also wants you to know just how much they appreciate okay, your inner strength, just how much they recognise who you are, okay, you're like an angel in this person's life. With this strength card, we do have the angels sort of taming the beast here and you bring a lot of peaceful energy into this person's life when as a rule, they're very, very cluttery in the headspace then, okay? You bring them some sort of clarity is something I'm getting here. Things could be very up in the air for this person in general or within this connection. I also feel this person might want to travel towards you as well. There could be a physical distance between you. This person almost wants to come rushing in towards you. And like I say, then they think about it, they overthink about it, and they kind of back out to something I'm getting. This person also wants you to know that they are constantly receiving signs, okay, um, and synchronicities in regards to your connection. I'm also hearing, okay, that they want you to know that um, this is mutual, that you're not crazy, you're not imagining it for those of you where that resonates for you, where this person might have played this connection down or maybe they're just acting in such a way that it makes you feel like they don't feel anything when in fact they feel far more than they're letting on. With the Knight of Cups, okay, and the Take My Hand that you've chosen from, I do feel this person does want to make you some sort of an offer here. And it could very well be a stable offer. But I feel for many of this is sort of like a long time coming. Or this is a process. If you've not, not long known this person, then this is going to be a process that they're going to eventually get to. For those of you where you've had sort of a longer connection with this person, um, you know, sort of a year or more, then I feel this person wants to make you a stable, steady offer of um, a romantic kind here. 
I also think this person wants you to know that they really do struggle with being vulnerable. So when they do approach you, um, even if it isn't what you want, I do um, think this person would appreciate you just um, letting them know, let them down easy is what I'm hearing here. That Pablo Nutini song, Let Me Down Easy, even if um, you don't want to be with me, just don't break my heart is something I'm getting. I also feel, okay, this strength in the Knight of Cups energy is kind of like opposite energies, right? The Leo's energy could be significant here. But um, very confident, very, um, oh wow, look at me, I'm absolutely fine, I've got so much confidence, I've got so much going on for me, my life's just great. But then when it comes to emotions, this person is like um, like a teenager is something I'm getting, gets a little bit giggly, blushy, um, isn't overly confident when it comes to emotions then. Let's take your messages from your person now. We've got wait. So this person is hoping that you're going to wait for them. And like I said, for many of them, they are waiting on you in some kind of way here. Perhaps for some of you, you might have even blocked this person is what I'm getting. So if you do want communication, then maybe I'm blocking them. Um, but energetically as well is something else I'm getting here. Perhaps you have um, put up some boundaries with this person or you've drawn your energy back and this person is feeling that all right now okay there could even be a bit of conflict or a bit of forgiveness needed okay between you and your person your person's waiting for something to shift in the energy is something i'm getting we have we still meet up in the 5d i know time is running out so yeah this person is realizing okay that they can't wait forever that they do have to take some sort of action i feel that in itself is causing this person a bit of stress and they want you to know that I also feel okay that you know they could be dreaming about you this nine of swords up all night thinking about you dreaming about you and there's no escaping you the signs and synchronicities as is suggested with this card here okay are leading them back to you continually no matter how far they go from you they always come back it's kind of like um the boomerang is what i'm getting here okay so australia could be significant for some of you here but yeah the boomerang coming back to you I also feel, okay, this person is recognising that you have a significant connection because you're still meeting up in the 5D, because you're still having this connection, even if you're not in physical um, contact, you're still always connected in some kind of way. And this person is recognising that. I also feel this person wants to say to you and wants to let you know that they recognise who you are. They recognise that you are someone who is responsible, somebody who is very loving, very stable, very committed and your inner strength is what I'm getting again here, okay, it's just off the scale for this person, they're a little bit in awe, okay, of how you do it all, it's something I'm getting for you, group number three. So that's been your reading, I hope it's been helpful, if you've enjoyed, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell and if you did wish to book a personal reading, you'll find the details in the description box below. Take care everyone, have a wonderful day, bye.